Hey, what's up everyone? And yeah, let me know in the comments below where you're from because today we're going to check out an incredible new quest app from the developers of Pokemon Go that lets you explore stunning 3D photos from around the world. That's right, it uses a technique called Gaussian splatting which creates these super realistic 3D scenes by blending thousands of tiny blurry points together, like high-tech spray paint. Not only can you explore these volumetric scenes made by others, but you can also create your own using your mobile device and instantly view them in headset, which I'll show you very soon. Scannyverse, as it's called, is totally free and you'll find a download link for Quest in the video's description. So with that being said, let's jump right in, shall we? Enjoy! Wow, so here we are standing in our personal airship which is floating in outer space and from here we can explore the world and all its secrets and surprises. As you can see there are many wind points that you can literally dive into. These are all volumetric uh, photos that people took and the best part is is that when you highlight one of these you can learn more about where that photo was taken and you can zoom into like this to figure out where it's located exactly. It's kind of like Google Earth, but then for splats. Let me show you some of my personal highlights, starting with a palace in Paris. And this one is just so detailed. I love it. it, it it's almost like you're, you're really there. You see what I mean? This is just so, so cool. Very well made. And you can even travel through the gates and have a closer look at the palace itself. Now I do want to warn you, the more you zoom in, the more of the illusion starts to fade away, as you can see. But when I step back then, the puzzle slowly pieces itself together again. Well, something you can get a closer look at is this uh, Medusa sculpt in Rome, Italy. And this shows you that it doesn't always have to be about a big scene, it can also be a lot smaller. You can have a one-to-one -one conversation with Medusa. I might turn into stone like these uh, man over here. So I'll probably leave very quickly. It was nice meeting you. Here's another great example of a Gundam in Bangkok, Thailand. This was actually made by one of my friends. Not the statue, but the splat. Hey, you can move around the entire thing without any constrictions. And when you have enough space in your room, you can even use that to your advantage by walking around and just enjoying your time at this convention. You see what I mean? No one is gonna tell me that I can't stand on the platform. That's VR, baby. No rules. Talking about statues, I created my own volumetric photo using my big daddy. You can find a link in the description below to the mobile app that lets you do that. And then you can upload it straight to your quest and experience it in VR. Welcome to the future. This is so strange because I'm in this room as we speak. It really blurs the lines between what's real and what isn't. And then when I move it around, I can line it up with my actual statue. My brain does not compute. Ooh, wow. That is so, so cool. Link is in the description below, as I said before. Go give it a try. This was taken at the Afterlane, which is a European theme park. It's like Disneyland and uh, it's located in the Netherlands. Nostalgia overload. This is a memory unlocked. The perspective you get here is like you feel super small and this thing, it's like about to eat you, which I love. I do kind of want to again move up, but then you see everything disappears. Imagine being able to not only check out this scene, but go inside and then step into the ride. You're gonna have all these photorealistic experiences, which are not just photos anymore, but interactive pieces that you can just do all kinds of stuff with. So this, this ride here, another one, very detailed in Kathmandu, Nepal. And wow, this one is detailed from all directions. Even the, the buildings, look, frozen in time, a time capsule that I will probably never forget. That's what I like about VR. Sometimes it just feels like you've really been there. And then when I go to bed, I sometimes even dream about things I've, I've seen. I think one of my favorites is this one. I don't know where it was taken and I don't know what it's all about. It gives me a warning that it hasn't been optimized for VR, but this is an example of how good a splat can, can turn out when you take your time scanning the thing you want to show off in VR. This one will make your headset melt, but 
it's totally worth it. I still want to know where this was taken with maybe some side information about the artist who made it and what else you can do in the area. As I said, Google Street View, but with splats. I mean, that'd be kind of nice. This is a pigeon in New York. Seems totally legit and, and it's not a real one, no. They haven't grown this big on pizza just yet, but you never know, maybe they at one point will take over the city. So here's another reason why this app is pushing the boundaries. This is in Mexico, the Tullum or Tullum ruins. And usually, as you can see, there is this roped fence in front of it, as they don't want tourists to climb this, obviously, but because it's a splat and it's all virtual, I can just get a lot closer than I'm allowed to. Let's say these things are getting more and more detailed over time. This is a way to look at all these sculptures without any tourists around and also breaking the rules without breaking them. Here's a dinosaur. Oh, this was taken in Orlando, Florida at Universal Islands of Adventure. Be careful, because this one could eat you in seconds. Oh, no! Don't do it. <laughs> Another thing that just uh, pops up in my mind is I want a multiplayer. I want to be able to share this with others because then I can see someone else being eaten instead. You know what? Let's wrap things up with a wholesome, wholesome volumetric in Carmel, California. You're gonna love it. Here. Wow. The amount of detail you get out of this one is unprecedented. That's just so cute, right? And is that a dog? Yeah. Oh, that's quirky. It's just vaporizing into the into the simulation. And there you go, my friends. That was the first version of Scannyverse on Quest. It's very impressive what they pulled off so far, and I can't wait to see where Niantic is gonna take us in the future. The fact that you can create a scan with your phone and then upload it to the Quest and dive right in is amazing. It's magic. You should try it out if you haven't already. There's a link in the description below, and hopefully they'll also make it more interactive because when you're in one of these uh, scenes, there is no information you can pull out of it, and that's a shame because sometimes you're like, okay, who made this? Or what is this museum I'm in? So in that case, you could use AI maybe to ask like, hey, what is this? What does it mean? What is it made of? Etc. Etc. We'll see. Time will tell if that's going to be a thing. But if you create this Google Earth-esque app, then you also expect to get a bit more context to the places you're at. So that's some feedback right there. Bye bye and uh, see you in VR.